everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in my home. My name is Jessie, for those who don't know me. I'm part of the Sephora squad, and I have some exciting things to share with you. I know it's a new year. I know we have a lot of things to be really excited about, but Fenty Skin has officially launched at Sephora, and I am here to show you the deets. So if you wanna learn this no makeup makeup look, and you wanna keep it very simple, keep on watching this video. So to start this routine, you want to make sure your skin is super clean and super fresh. I have already washed it out of camera, but I'm gonna show you what I washed it with. Fenty Skin is out officially, so you need to go and cop it because it's amazing. The good thing about this cleanser, first I wanna show you texture so you can see it. It's a little twist cap, so it just makes everything easier for you. It is a nice creamy texture. It smells divine. This one is gonna have the Barbados cherry, which is acerola cherry. Also has green tea and it has fig, which is rich in antioxidant. It's nice and creamy. I'm gonna lather it up on my hands. Truly cleanse off your skin without the drying part, which is what I'm looking for, especially for an all makeup makeup look. You want to make sure that your skin is very nice and supple and prepped. The second step I'm gonna be doing in this routine is gonna be moisturizing and hydrating. For that, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Skin, and this is the Hydrovisor Invisible Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen Moisturizer. The first thing I'm gonna address about this is gonna be the packaging. I'm obsessed with it. You get to like twist it up, and then you pump it and disperse it into your hands. Now, this is the texture. Now, the good thing about this is that it's gonna to get to moisturize you, and it's also gonna to get to protect you against the sun. So the first ingredient this has is gonna be the niacinamide. This is gonna help you um, hydrate, also brighten the appearance of dark spots. It also has aloe, which is gonna help you calm the skin and hydrate it. And it's also gonna have a little bit of baobab, so rich in antioxidants. I'm just applying it all over, making sure you give it a nice little rub in the skin. I also apply it in my neck area top of my ears to make sure that everything is hydrated. Look how beautiful and glowy this looks. It looks very hydrating, it feels like a dream. Riri, I like her approach. I'm liking this, I'm actually loving this. Look how soft it is. For my next step, I'm gonna be starting to apply what I'm gonna have as a complexion. And for that, I'm gonna be using Ilian. This is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. This is niacinamide, it has squalane, it also has hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is just gonna help me hydrate my skin. And also the squalane is just gonna help me truly nourish it. What I'm gonna do with it, I'm gonna give it a good shake. You have seen that I'm shaking it ever since I was talking about it. It's because you wanna get those pigments mixed in there. So when you apply it, it actually gets to have a nice, beautiful, effortless coverage. So the way that I apply it is by applying maybe one, two, I wanna do a little bit more, I wanna do a third drop. And I like applying it like I usually apply a serum, which is like working it in between my fingers. You'll see it has a nice beautiful coverage to it. And I'm gonna gently start tapping it in, but I wanna give it a nice little rub, warm it up. And I'm gonna apply it on the areas where I feel I need the most. And I'm just gonna start giving it a little tap. Now, as you can see, I still have this hand that has product. That one, I'm not gonna apply it yet because I'm gonna make sure that I blend whatever I have in this hand. When you're doing a no makeup makeup look, you wanna make sure, like you can definitely, you can use a lot of products to like look like you don't have any makeup on, but it's all about how you layer them. So if you're putting a couple of products in, if you wanna look like you have no makeup, you have to make sure you soften those areas up and it looks nice and effortless. I'm gonna just tap a tiny bit of this hand into this hand and work it in there. I don't necessarily need to have a perfect complexion for this look. I'm gonna apply whatever I have on my hands on my neck area. And this is how it looks so far. I love that the skin tint feels very lightweight on the skin, so it doesn't get to feel like you have a lot going on. By all means, if you wanted more coverage, you can definitely add more. In my case, I'm just gonna keep it super natural. Now that I have applied my skin tint and I feel like I'm very satisfied with the look of it, I'm gonna start adding a little bit of more coverage in the areas where I need it the most. I'm gonna do it a little bit under my eyes just because the natural shape of my eye has a little divot so it looks a little darker than usual. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my lids just to take away a soft touch of the redness. I am going to be using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and this 
is in the shade light. What I love about it is that it has maracuya, which is gonna be very hydrating, and it has a nice creamy consistency. It does have a doe foot applicator. I'm gonna put it right in here, and I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Now, if you see my eye shape, you will see that I have darkness on the corners right here and right here. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit on the corner, tiny bit on the corner right there. I'm gonna put a tiny bit over here and a little bit of discoloration there. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna start with that first. You can use your fingers or you can use a beauty blender or you can use a brush, whichever you feel is more comfortable for you. In my case, I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna be using my ring fingers for this. I'm gonna be using this right here and I'm gonna be tapping gently into the eye area to softly blend that product in. When you saw me apply the concealer, I don't apply it directly under my eye because it's too close to the lash line. It almost looks like you're too perfected. I like applying the concealer a little bit lower and then blending upwards. That way it looks natural. Same with the outer corner. I'm not going too close to the end of my eye. I will blend it that way, but if you apply it a little bit further out, it's easier for it to blend and look natural. I'm gonna also go with my finger on the corner, tap it in there. I'm using my middle finger for that just to give a little pressure in there. And then whatever is left in my finger, I'm just gonna apply it on the lid to soften it up and make it look nice and flawless. I'm gonna do the other eye now. I'm gonna take the ring finger and start working it. From the very corner, I'm gonna start working it upwards. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of product in there and then I'm also gonna do a little bit in the corner of my lips we naturally get darkness in the corner of your lips which is very normal I like giving a little bit of light to bring that smile upwards a little bit more I usually like leaving the concealer for a couple of seconds before blending so it truly grabs that nice pigment into the skin I'm just gonna go and start dabbing in it again taking my beauty blender gonna dab it in some area so it brings back that natural skin look giving a nice soft finish there and that's pretty much it okay to add a little bit of color to my complexion I'm gonna be using the Cosas this is the Sun Show moisturizing baked bronzer in the shade medium this is like a little golden bronze the good thing about this bronzer that I love it's going to be that it has shea butter so it's a little bit more moisturizing on the skin it looks super soft it looks subtle you can definitely build up the intensity if you wanted to it does has I'm gonna show you I'm gonna swatch it it does has a little bit of a nice soft buttery and shimmery look it's really pretty I usually use this product just to add the warmth I don't go too crazy with it I just like softly add the finishing to some of my high point areas like my forehead my cheeks a little bit on top of my nose just to add a, that sun kiss look for that, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection number 96 brush. This is the blush brush. The reason why I'm using this one is because it has a nice taper end, so it's gonna truly go into the crevices of my cheekbones and everything in between. It's also nice and tapered, so the product won't go everywhere. I wanna be very targeted with it too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the product into my brush. I'm not gonna take a lot. I'm just gonna make sure that it goes into the center of my brush by tapping it inwards. And I'm just gonna start adding a little bit of that nice tone into the high points of my face. And I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm gonna flip my brush around and blend it in with the cleaner area of my brush. I usually do this on the high points of my brows because usually when I get a little bit of that nice sun kiss glow, it's on this area and on the top of my brows. I am now gonna go into the higher points of my cheekbones. I'm gonna start um, just softly going into the cheekbone, but if you see all the concentration of the product, I apply on the hairline and I'm just bringing it forward. Now, what this helps you do is not have that like harsh line when you're doing your bronzer. It just gives you a little bit more of a natural color. It's almost like a soft diffuse shade to your skin. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now. One of the ways that I know that I'm fully using my product is when I look at the brush after I applied, you will see that the brush is pretty clean. That means you applied successfully all the product and you blended it in. So you can definitely pick a little bit more. When I pick up the product, I just tap it and then press it into the brush. I'm gonna start on the corner right here, tapping it first. 
Now the reason why I'm tapping it first, if you notice, I didn't set my, my face with any powders. So I'm just almost like setting it with the way I applied the bronzer and then I work it in. And tap it so it gives me that even tone. Product can be worked up to a higher intensity if you feel like you are more of a bronze gal and you like your bronzer showing. But for the sake of this look, which is very natural, I'm just gonna keep it soft. I'm gonna add a tiny bit to the top of my nose. And for that, I'm gonna be tapping my product and just like working it inwards again. And just adding it right here, flipping it on the other side and just going over the side so it gives me that natural effortless bronzy look. And I mean, if you're out in the sun, the nose is gonna get a little bit of color. So I always like applying a little bit of that color in there. You can apply it on the sides of the nose too. I like applying a little on the chin. And this is whatever is left of the product so far. For my next step, I'm gonna be using a little blush. I'm gonna be keeping this super simple. For that, I'm gonna be using the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. This is in the shade Sing. And the reason why I like this one right here is because this you can use on your lips and you can use on your cheeks. It looks super natural. It also has a soft matte finish to it, so it doesn't feel heavy. And if you were to wear a mask, you can definitely put it on and it's not gonna transfer anywhere because it dries in a soft matte velvety finish. The applicator is super bomb too because it has a nice tapered tip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it on my fingers. Just take a little bit out. I'm gonna first start with the lips. And these ones are really pigmented, so go easy with them. I like going over my cupid's bow a tiny bit with this looks just because I feel that it gives me that beautiful blurred out lip. I am going to take a little bit of this with my now sanitized hand and I'm going to be applying it little by little on the top areas of my cheeks. I'm going to apply it right here in the top of my cheekbone and the reason why I like applying it there is just because I feel like it makes it nice and elongated. Tap it, blend it. Whatever is remaining I'm just going to tap on the top of my nose. Now this is how the blush looks so far. Now to finish up the routine because we want to go. For my mascara, I'm going to be using the Big Clean Volumizing Ang Lash Care Mascara. I've been loving this baby a lot and it's because one, the packaging just screams straight up party for me. It's so pretty, it looks so tropical, it looks so perfect, but also it gives your lashes their thick moment. Oh, that sound was beautiful. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the little brush. It has a nice curved brush, so it will give you volume and it will give you that lift. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start wiggling the base of my lashes with this and just like work it slowly to the top. And having a mirror low, like on a lower area, it's great, because if you're like me that you sometimes get your lashes imprinted on your lid having something to look down to it's easier because you can truly get the product in there because my coffee has not kicked in and i'm a potato okay i'm gonna do <laughs> a little bit of the product on this side too little by little truly working flat face and closing my eye as i go i'm gonna be putting a little bit on the bottom right here and that's it I feel like myself just a little bit brighter. You know, when you give your skin a little bit of TLC, it gives it right back to you. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate Fenty skin? Like, look at that glow. I'm beaming, honey. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite products that you wanna try. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Sephora's YouTube channel because we're coming with more videos. We're doing all these products just for you. So, I guess I'll see you soon. Big kisses, my loves. Bye.